Hi, it's Chris here. In this video, we're going to look at PEC prep and how to prepare a, a periodic error correction file uh, for use by EQASCOM. Okay, well, the first thing to do is is to load in some data. Uh, I've got my mount type set to EQ6, so I'm going to load in some data. Now, as you can see, I've captured some one, two, three, four, five cycles worth of data, and in general, I would always advise capturing that amount of data uh, just to make sure you're, you're you can see all of the kind of variations that your mount is is going to produce. And the first thing I do is just hit the auto filter button. Let me just move this down so we can. See what I'm doing. And as you can see, what we're what we're looking at basically is, is is this display here. And for periodic error correction, we want to try and get these lines aligning to the best fit we possibly can. Now it's clear from this data that there are a number of significant peaks present in this data, uh, some of which are not harmonic with the worm. And so the best thing to do probably at this stage is just to jump over to the Frequency Spectrum tab. Uh, take out a lot of the uh, low, low frequency stuff. Take out some of the high frequency stuff that we're not going to use. Just reduce this down until we get the main significant peaks that are present. And then we try and identify them. So we have the worm drive. That's okay. Let me just zoom in a bit here to separate these things out. So we've got the worm drive. Transfer gear doesn't appear to be there. Um, transfer gear second harmonic certainly is. Uh, stepper gear, that's there. Worm over two. So they're, they're the main signals that are present. Now, out of those, uh, the worm, the worm out of two, I thought the worm over three was actually present. Yeah, the worm over three is present as well. So, the frequencies that are harmonic are the worm, worm uh, second harmonic of the worm, and third harmonic of the worm. Uh, the ones that are not harmonic are the uh, transfer gear, second harmonic at 182, and the stepper gear at 122. Now the way PEC works is that uh, it can't correct for non-harmonic signals. So what we need to do is go back to our periodic error analysis uh, display and remove those signals that are not harmonic. And we know that's the 181 second signal and the 120 second signal. And you can see when I remove that, these curves now stack up much nicer. They're much a closer correlation between the cycles. Uh, and that's what we want for our periodic error correction curve. Uh, sure, these signals are present in, in the mount, um, uh, but our correction curve will do this and then they will wobble kind of on top of it. So there will always be some residual error. Uh, and this is um, kind of what's shown on here. Now, to generate our, our data, uh, we can obviously fine-tune this if we decide that some of these cycles are not typical. I'm not going to do that. I, th I think all of these cycles are typical. There were no major uh, jumps or, or, or that as being my pet curve. So all I have to do then is Let me just uh, center the camera. Is save your EQMod PEC file. And we just give it a name. In this case, it's already called it PEC.txt. Say OK. And that's done. Then from within EQASCOM, you simply uh, load that PEC file. And I can show you how that would be done. If I start up, um, I 
toolbox application. Okay, so we expand up EQASCOM. We go to the PEC settings, we simply say load. We browse to the place where we're actually storing our data, which was here. There's the file that's just been created. Click OK. Our EQASCOM, and it will play that signal whenever we uh, set the mount tracking. So if we set it set tracking, you see it starts playing back uh, this curve. We would set the gain to 1 curve by giving it a phase shift. You can see at different parts of the moment it will as you see it becomes um, a greater amount of correct